We're now going to have a look at a few settings to adjust our view, to adjust our render, our image in Photoshop. We're going to tweak some of the settings and then we're going to add some more layers. So one of the things we're going to do is remove the color. Um, I wanted to have the texture from the color, the bricks and the timber, but I didn't actually want to have the color. So we're going to go image, adjustments, hue saturation, and we're going to take the saturation down to zero or minus 100. I'm going to also turn off this background. Now the problem with turning off this background, it means that I'm going to see a checkerboard in the background. So I'm going to also add another new layer. And I'm going to make that layout white. I'll just leave it none at the moment. Put that at the very back. And I will just fill that with white. So we've got a white background now and it's gone black and white effectively. So now all we've been doing is mixing by using opacities to be able to see different quantities of these different views that we've created. We're now going to also import in additional views or additional images overlays to be able to create some effects. One of the ways we can do this is with a watercolor. So I'm just going to import a watercolor view. Let's use a different one. Place. And now in order to be able to see what's underneath, instead of this being normal, we're going to change this to overlay. So straight away it's creating an interesting effect. I, I will just also image rotation, rotate this 180 degrees. Oops, sorry. Not image rotation, I want edit transform rotate 180 so the colors a little bit more vibrant dense at the top now let's grab another one same sort of thing Now we could use this in a different way, so we could multiply this, we could color burn, linear burn. So there's a, diff a few different ways we can create different effects using this. It's partly, a lot of these are partly based on the, the density or the colors of what we're doing. Let's change this to darken and then let's just reduce some of that intensity. Now we might not want the color, so again what I could do with this one is, sorry, we have to right click rasterize, image adjustments, hue saturation, let's take that out again. So automatically or very quickly now uh, let's make it a bit denser now. And then of course we could remove parts that if we want to. We could do this with a mask or we could just uh, maybe with the erase tool reduce some of this. Increase its size. Reduce its hardness. Take away some of the more bold areas. The other way of doing that would be to brightness contrast maybe and decrease the amount of contrast so we're getting a bit more of that grey wash over the whole thing. So a few very quick techniques to make it look like we've spent a lot of time creating something that's artistic but realistically we've just added a few quick settings, a quick overlay to create that artistic 
representation. Um, at any point, by having these all as layers, we can update these or we can add a bit more of this back in, a bit more of that wireframe. And again, we could get rid of parts that if we feel that that's too dense. Uh, so we're starting to create the, the effects that we're after.